Well, he promises to be one of Africa's wonders of the modern world, a new city completely devoted to high technology near the heart of Kenya. Called Konza, it will take 20 years and some $15 billion to complete. But in the end, Kenyan leaders predict it will rival America's Silicon Valley. Our Paul Dio shows the blueprint. An innovations revolution is unfolding in Africa and the East African nation of Kenya is taking the lead. Young people are creating new technologies and applications that are driving the country's economic growth and turning Kenya into a high-tech hub that is being promoted as Africa's answer to America's Silicon Valley. Located 70 kilometers from the capital Nairobi, the project dubbed Africa Silicon Savannah will be constructed on a 5,000 hectare of land at the cost of 14.5 billion US dollars. The IT city is expected to be complete in the next 20 years and will create more than 20,000 IT jobs by 2015 and more than 200,000 jobs by 2030. We compete very well um, and we are increasingly competing for position number one because of the innovations, the city that we are putting in place, the government policies and investments to make an enabling environment for ICT business to thrive. Africa's Silicon Savannah is part of an ambitious government plan to develop infrastructure in East Africa's biggest economy by 2030. Africa is the world's fastest growing mobile market and was estimated will be home to more than 738 million handsets or nearly three mobile phones for every four of its people, according to an industry survey that was done in 2011. Kenya's telecom industry was among the fastest growing with 29.7 million out of 40 people having mobile phones. Technology will largely impact Africa because of mobile penetration and because of the various ways that we have skipped ahead of our predecessors in the, in the West. And so mainly because of the mobile phone and the penetration that has happened in Africa. Innovation centers in Kenya like iHub and MLab are helping to incubate and train developers to launch their startups and access markets and fund so that come 2030, Kanzo will be a truly Kenyan affair. Mobile app developers come to MLab to test their young innovations on a technical and business front. MLab has close to a hundred different types of mobile headsets used for trials. We don't want a situation whereby Kanzo City is there, there is all that real estate and there is all that infrastructure there. But uh, the people, the tenants of that city or the, 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 resident, the residents of that city end up just being uh, uh, international uh, companies. The developers say the city will provide universities, science parks and establish modern living facilities that can attract a high caliber of professionals to the modern lifestyle that will be created there. The government is expected to finance 5% of the total cost, then lease land to private investors who can build and run industries in different areas. Paul Ndiho, VOA News.